Okay, everybody, I'm so excited today because Mary Holland is back on the show. I last talked to her for the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. And that's the last time I'm ever saying that title. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but she is promoting self-reliance, which she stars and is on Hulu today. How are you doing today, Mary? I'm great. How are you, Steve? Good. I I'm so excited to talk to you again. Um, yeah, and me too. Yeah, and, and I, I really <laughs> love this film. And I'm, it's so exciting. Today's opening day, so everyone's seeing it. I know. Um, yeah, and I love this character, Amy, you play, but people see she's like Tommy's tough love sister here. Yeah. So do you find yourself someone who gives a lot of tough love in life or does that kind of make you uncomfortable? Absolutely not. Uh, it does make me uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I'm more likely to receive tough love than I am to give it, but that made stepping into this character uh very cathartic for me because uh because it was nice to be that that sort of that kind of role in somebody's life yeah and it just makes it that much more impressive how you play it that it's probably something more foreign to you so I like that yeah. and uh was there anything in the script that stuck out to you that made you want to do it I love the script so much I'm first of all I'm I'm such a massive Jake Johnson fan and I think he's he's totally brilliant he's such a brilliant actor and and writer, and he had such a vision for this movie as a director. Uh, I remember when I auditioned for him, he was so clear about what, who this character was, how what her function was in the family, and who she was to Tommy, the main character. And um, I thought the script, it, the, the thing as a whole, I thought was so, it pulled me in immediately. But the, the premise of it, I think, is so clever. It's such an interesting and unique way to explore this this idea of connection and of, uh, you know, having to forge relationships in a truly life or death death situation. Yeah, and, and I like yeah. you point out it being unique and I like you highlight that word relationships, how important that is just with scripts and you being a great writer yourself, what are some red flags that might stick out to you in reading a script that would make you like not want to do a part? Is there anything that would just jump off? Oh like, my I'm gosh. Not doing this? <laughs> Uh, oh gosh, that's, I mean, I feel like if it's, I mean, if it's, if the, if a character is like, uh, sort of not, um, if there's no reason for a character's behavior, like if there's no kind of emotional through line that that's definitely a, a, a red flag might be too strong a term, but it's definitely something that I would want to dig into a little bit because, uh, uh, I've been very lucky so far to to only get to do projects where all the characters are very three dimensional and thought through and and the directors are super intentional and the writers yeah so yeah so, no yeah <laughs> I like that and there's like a seal of like if Mary Holland's in it it should be at oh. least pretty good so there's not like oh <laughs> that's she's nice not to hear so. no for, oh, for sure that. and I'm not just saying that and um it's interesting I interviewed Emily Hampshire sure yesterday and yeah. Um, I want your take on this because I asked her this question and I want to know why your character was named Amy and she was Mary. And did you at least fight for to be Mary? Was it confusing? Cause she says it was very confusing. <laughs> it wasn't confusing to me. I, I think I, the characters were so distinct in my yeah. mind that it's almost like Emily's Mary was a totally separate Mary than me, Mary. So it right. didn't, it didn't confuse me at all all like when when she was called Mary I was like oh yeah that's Mary like I, I didn't I didn't have the instinct to respond to it because because her character was just so specific and distinct um and I did not campaign for Amy to be Mary I felt I felt Amy was Amy and you know her her name starts with the first letter of the alphabet she is the alpha in the family <laughs> I and love that it, it tracks it tracks yeah I like that <laughs> and that importance to the name that that's a great answer um yeah I feel more bad for Emily, though, because she's still confused out there about it. But yeah. I, uh, poor Emily. <laughs> poor Emily. <laughs> but I also want to bring up to, I loved your performance in senior year. Oh, and I loved it because it was, I was surprised how dramatic it was. It was a dramatic performance yeah, to me in a, in a funny yeah. movie. But um, I was blown away by it. So I'm wondering, are you open to doing more like oh. straight dramatic roles? Is that a Yes. Pattern? Yes, Steve. I'm desperate too. <laughs> uh, 
I would love it. I would be, I would be beyond thrilled to get that opportunity. Yeah. And yeah, I thank no, you so much for that. Yeah. No, we would love it. The fans, because I did not expect that when I was watching that movie and I was like, this right. is amazing. So it makes me excited for the future for Mary Holland. And that's thank cool to hear you. You actually want to do it too. Oh um, yeah. Chomping so at everyone, the bit. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Notice people. Let notice. it be known. Let it be <laughs> yes. known. <laughs> um, now, this is cool too. I, I think I told you in my last interview, but I loved Happiest Season, um, which you worked on with Clea Duvall. So are there still plans for you both to reunite for a TV series day job? Is I don't even know if that's the right title yeah. at this point. But... Yeah, the title's sort of a work in progress. We we definitely uh, uh, hope to get to uh, manifest that at some point. It's sort of, you know, with with the last few years and the strikes, everything's kind of um, up in the air a bit. So, so I'm not sure specifically how it's going to come together or when. But I, we both really want it and hope to make it. Do you yeah. when you when you work with her too? I'm wondering, do you find a lot of like pros about writing with somebody compared to when you write alone? Is is there something totally. you kind of value with that? Totally. I, I actually have a really hard time writing on my own. And I it probably does stem from coming from an improv background where it is mm. that's such an ensemble craft and you you can't build it alone. You have to build it with other people. And so um I find it very helpful to collaborate because it's it's two brains instead of just one. And and there's things also I, I find that my partner thinks of that I would never think of or or feedback they have on, on, on an idea I have that I didn't consider. So I, I just feel like it's so beneficial. So it sounds like you like to collaborate too. Like you don't do. feel like, oh, this is my idea. We're doing it. Like you're- No. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I'm like, the, the more the merrier. Let's, oh, let's, get, that's good. let's fill this kitchen with cooks. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love it. Um, now, I also see- Correct me if I'm wrong, but you'll be in a film Night Bitch with Amy Adams. Yeah. Is that finished filming? Is that still happening? Or Yeah, we we have finished filming that. I'm not sure the details on when that's coming out or or how, but uh, the filming of it was a truly uh, wonderful experience. I, Amy Adams is somebody I have looked up to my entire life it feels like yeah yeah um I remember watching her in Drop Dead Gorgeous and being like who is this person and then of course she you know became a superstar and so it's been that was a huge honor to get to work with her on that that's awesome so I, I hope yeah. you were in her ear like Amy I want to do dramatic roles get me the dramatic <laughs> roles. yeah I grabbed her by the collar and I said help me <laughs> <laughs> but is that movie that's gonna is that like a horror comedy or just straight comedy or no I that that is definitely more more dramatic um, all right it's sort of exploring motherhood and exploring the the darker aspects of you know the struggle that I think a lot of a lot of parents go through so um so yeah I'm excited for for everyone to see it yeah I'm pumped that that sounds like an awesome cast and um I want to say too because I kind of lose this before but from just people in my circle who love tv and film um I feel like you're right now a person that people would watch because you're in it. Like I would watch you do laundry, right? I'm serious when I say that. Oh, so God. um you didn't bring it's not laundry that exciting. Okay. I didn't, I didn't. It's okay. really not it, you would be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but but me telling you that, does that I don't know if you're self-aware of that or not, but does that add a pressure to you? Like maybe when you're on set, like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta bring it again. I've been bringing it, but do it is yeah. there a, a pressure there? No, it's I I I mean yes to it. You definitely want to deliver, and you want to uh, hold. You want to make sure that you're um, pulling your weight along with everyone else in the production. Like you want to like you know be reliable and be be sort of what you were hired to do. But but at the same time, I'm I'm so grateful to to get to do it, and so I love doing it so much that the pressure is kind of an after. Or th that's sort of on the back burner as opposed to the, the joy of getting to do it oh that's great and yeah, yeah. i mean it, it's awesome your porn's always come off natural and i'm Thank really you. excited for people to see you uh in self-reliance which is on hulu Thanks. today mary was great to talk to you again and Me i hope to talk to you in the future one day yeah i hope so